that moment when you turn onto uh, River Road from Brook Lake and head north and see the traffic stopped from the tracks. Hello and good morning. It's 07, 13 hours, give or take a couple minutes. I'm looking at the clock on the car that changes. I have to reset it. Last week when I reset it, it was about 30 seconds fast according to my um, phone. <clears throat> you know, I uh, really miss uh, making YouTube videos, creating content good, bad, ugly, indifferent, whatever. It was beginning to be something that um, I was um, I was feeling passionate about. In spite of the negative comments, um, ironically, normally negative content comments and things that are being said to me Some of them were actually um, oh man, I can't even think. Um, constructive criticism. That's the phrase I'm looking for. And I even had one person say that they didn't mean no disrespect and that I should learn more about a radio or learn more about something. And Typically on the really, really negative ones where they're just being jerks, I'm like Thank you. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It is my understanding, and I'm saying my understanding, and so for all you people that know this to be fact, that's fine. I, I kind of think I do too, but I'm just saying my understanding because I have no way to prove it to myself. I have no way to prove it to others, and not that I have to... Most people that know me know that I don't have anything to prove. pretty much, you know, the, the, oh, the comments, the, uh, the negative comments, whether, you know, somebody could put F you on a comment or, Hey, I really love your stuff. And it, um, it's, it's all the same from my understanding. I'm learning in life that a lot of things I'm trying to make sure to say my understanding and not say something as fact when I don't know that for fact even if I know it I don't know it if that makes sense I can't explain that maybe it's an ADHD thing who knows so when I came on all that opening of whatever a freaking rambling
those heavy, you know, um, I don't even know what the right word is to use. Uh, it was, I was babysitting. I know I was babysitting my cousin's kids. Uh, they're all grown up and adults now. somebody that I had um, <laughs> really quick this person had seen my um, my uh, uh, my page on MySpace remember that? <laughs> date yourself I I was part of MySpace anyways I am um, I uh, right after I came back from Canada so babysitting to make money, trying to make money in any way I could, you know, I mean, um, I would have gone to a horse table and scooped up manure, um, I scrubbed toilets with a toothbrush, that's the way I was raised, I, I do have a point, I'm getting somewhere. So, I was babysitting and there was you know my cousin this other family that found me and thought that my status thing was a joke and I'm like no and they contacted DHS and said no he's legit blah 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 I know of 
that, and him and I had lost contact for a few years, that watches my video, and that has known me since 1986, 88, you are better with years than I am, uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but he knows who he is, we met at a CB break, wow, I go to make a video today, and it's like, I'm like getting crap ton of notifications, freaking A, So, I know that he's seen me when I was really bad off because we, for a while, we lived across the street from each other in Kaiser. We're both into two-way radios, heavily. Um, with all that being said, um, the day-to-day -day struggle was something else. Um, you know, there were days that I would get up and take my wife to work, and I'd come back home, and if it wasn't for having an infant, a toddler, a child that I had to take care of and I had to feed, change, No, you know. If you don't, you don't. But so, if I didn't have a child to take care of, I'd just lay in bed all day. It was very. It was very difficult. Oh wow! A Prius just passed me, and I'm in a Prius. I am doing like four miles an hour under the speed limit. Um, I am I'm thankful that I was able to um, have a child that caused me to do what little bit I did and could do but even with that there were seven years over seven years of my life that my wife would have to physically help me get dressed and a lot of the times the clothes that we picked out for my son were so that it was easier for me when I had to <clears throat> change a diaper say all that in my what looks like a little over 10 minutes of rambling to some people and that's great if you don't want to listen. These videos, some of these videos I don't even make for other people. Someday I'm going to come back and be able to look at them whether I've uploaded them or not because what you guys see is not even half as much as what I actually record and have saved places. It's, it's really unreasonable to get back on track. It's really unreasonable to take from 2008 to 2023, which is when I started this job. Even though this job is sitting down and pretty much just driving every so often, I have to fold a walker and even every so less often, every other week or so, I may have to put a fold a small wheelchair up and pick it up. Thankfully, I can do that now. Um, it's really unreasonable to think and believe that in the amount of time of not working even without a disability, but especially with a disability, that from May of 2023 to September, and let's not forget that I was off for, I think, four weeks in June. Yeah, because I came back in July. So I was off for quite a few weeks because of the accident. 
it's really unreasonable to believe and think that you're going to hop in and everything is just going to be great. Uh, get back to normal. First off, what I'm doing now is not, still not normal compared to what I wish I could do, which is something that I need to stop doing. Yeah, I made decent money. But it was hard on a person. And this job is already hard enough as far as long days. Being on call 24-7 is even worse. Gone away. Okay, folks, I don't like taking 20 minutes per video. And I looks like I'm at 15. I don't know. Maybe that's 18. I can't really see the... But my main point is that it's really unreasonable to think that in less than a year, you're going to go back and I had more to say, but I got sidetracked too much. Maybe I'll make a part two. Okay. As I go through St. Paul at 21 miles per hour, I love y'all and I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Bye.